Hey, welcome back guys to Iconic Rod and Custom. This time we're using the laser welder, but we're going to be doing aluminum. Um, I'm setting up some steel plate here over top of that copper plate, and uh, I'm going to keep them separated. I want to show you how well this welds in the penetration that we'll get out of that. Um, it's 063, 3003 aluminum, and I'm using 4043 wire. Now, uh, you know, we're just playing around with this now and actually the preset settings uh, has a 5356 wire but we're going to be using 4043 wire and 063 uh, aluminum for Coupe Simone the, the, the most of the body uh, there'll be some uh, inner structures and stuff with thicker but you can see how quick that was just to weld that <clears throat> and uh, here I'm going to take it off I'm going to show you that upper weld, and then I'm going to flip it over, show you that penetration that come through there. It's crazy. Unbelievable. Look at the distortion. Virtually none. There's really no heat affected zone on that. It, once you get it all dialed in, it's just incredible. So I'm going to set up another uh, two coupons of it, uh, same stuff, 063, and uh, we're going to do it again. But I'm going to planish this set, and I'm going to mark the top side, or the front side, and the back side. And uh, I want to show you the difference from the front side to the back side and the penetration on this. You know, the cool thing about this is you can start with a preset that's close to what you're using as far as material thickness and the wire. And uh, you can tweak that and save that into that same program again and recall it as you need it. So I get these clamped on here and I realize one side says front and one side says back so uh, I guess I gotta switch those around. So this is pretty much the same as TIG welding. You want your butt joint as tight as possible although you can weld uh, a gap probably a millimeter or so. It depends on your wire etc. But, uh, you know, it's always, always nice if you can keep your butt tight. So, watch how quick this actually is. Now, this is a 4 to 5 inch uh, weld that I'm trying to make. Not that right there, I screwed up. I lifted off. It has to be contacted at all times. Now, the wire feeding out of that is actually going to push you and the gun backwards. You're just tooling it and steering it. And what happens here, I get off the joint just a little bit here toward the end, so I have to go back in and re-weld that small section there. But just watch how quick and easy it is. I, I notice it here that it's just off the seam a little. So I'll go back in and uh, weld it. And then we're going to go over to the planisher. So here's a cool thing. I'm unclamping this, but look when I flip it over at the weld bead on the back, the penetration. It's more on the back than it is the top side. Do you know how quick and easy that is to finish that weld off, especially with uh, not being warped from the heat affected zone? 
All right, so I'm over here at the Mini Hot Rod Power Hammer from Woodward Fab. I just have uh, the planishing dies in it right now, flat ones. But look, I'll run the screwdriver across that weld. It's very minimal, very minimal sticking up. And I'll flip it over. Now that's where I had to re-weld it, but uh, look at the backside. The weld's on the bottom side of it, basically, and it's catching. So uh, we're gonna planish this down. We'll see what we got after that. So if you haven't been over to Woodward Fab, take a minute and uh, head on over there and check out their website. This little mini power hammer is uh, its actually the first one they got in. And uh, it does everything that a small power hammer will do. Um, it has beading, flanging, and uh, all kinds of shaping. It has thumbnail dies. So it, it's just like a regular power hammer or a mini pool max. You can do a lot of different things with it, and so far it is incredible. Works great. Hopefully uh, at some point when they get the big ones in, I'll uh, be able to get one of those. Yeah, so uh, check this out. You know, it smashed that right down real nice and flat. Hardly anything to dress up on that, but we're going to go over to the table then, and I'm actually going to uh, sand these down with the 80 and 180 grit to see how fine we can get that. So here I've set up some coupons that I've already welded butt joints on and I'm going to re-weld a butt joint to them as well and I'm marking the top side obviously. So again, watch how fast this welder actually works on this butt weld. Just a few seconds and it's done. So I do run these back over to the mini power hammer and planish these out, all three welds that uh, you can see here. And uh, I'm going to bring it back, I'm going to set it up and I'm going to sand those welds down. I'm not going to file them, I'm going to sand them. Now Vixen file works great, you know, obviously, and I do try that after this. But uh, we're going to do it with 80 and 180 grit and uh, see, just see what happens here. So I'm just using some masking tape. I'm going to mask each side of these welds off just to keep it nice looking. Um, you know, it's it, in all reality, it doesn't really matter if you're going to be doing uh, bodywork on it anyways and paint. So, but, you know, for the polish effect, you know, you just work your way up through finer sandpaper as you go, and that looks great also. So I want to take a second here to ask if you uh, if you like these videos that I'm doing, please like, subscribe, and share, and please comment. Get interactive with us. So again, I'm starting out with 80 grit, and I'm just hand sanding these 
uh, butt joints down. And again, I'm using 063 3003 H14 series aluminum, which is half hard, and I'm using 4043 wire that is for, uh, 047 thickness, and uh, it's it's really working down real fast. Just using the 80 grit. So I'm going to switch over though, and I'll I'll uh, put the 180 on to do a little finer job on it. Although I'm not going to keep progressing into finer sandpaper to polish it up. It's really working nice. You know, as far as my sandpaper, I used to use exclusively 3M and Norton and uh, in Dossa products have come a long way and now that's primarily what I use unless I can't get what I need at the time and I need it right away I'll, I'll grab something else but uh, in Dossa I have mostly all of their products um, and again they're not sponsoring me in any way but man give them a shout out in Dossa USA look their products up I'm telling you for the price and the quality, you can't beat it. All right, so let's pull the tape off of this and see what we have. Now, they're not perfect. As I said, this is just a quick scuff with 80 and 180. And you can see um, they're pretty, pretty good, though. That center one right there, that's where I had to restart a weld. And... Uh, it got a little bit goofy. I could go back in and refill it, you know, with a welder again. But look at the backside. That's, you know, most of that penetration, the beads on the backside. It's just crazy. These are very flat, very minor distortion. Wouldn't take anything to planish them flat. But, hey, please like, subscribe, hit notifications, comment, and share. Let's keep this going. Thanks again for watching.